Welcome to another episode of Grammar TV. I'm Macy Shrivastava. And I'm Holly Radford. Our first story is from Izzy about the Palmer for a Farmer Day. Palmer for a Farmer Day was on the 21st of September and I interviewed Henry Shepherd about the event. So students had the option of ordering a Palmer or chips, which was from the boarding house, and to dress up you had to bring a gold coin. So we're planning to raise $1,200 today for our friends in the north in the drought. So the money will go towards sending the bales of hay over on the trucks to help the farm which can't grow any food or plants. It was great to see so many dressed up. Up next is Jack's story about the athletics carnival. Last term, the Grammar Athletics team hopped on a bus and drove down to Penguin to compete in the NSARTIS Athletics Competition. Here we ask a few students about their day. Uh, you get a day after school, so if you have bad subjects. Good to get up, up to Penguin, have a bit of time, meet some other athletes and get out of school. Get a day after school. <laughs> yep. Get to bond with the younger grades, such as you, Jack. <laughs> participation, get around everyone, you know, that's what grammar's really about. Alright, I'm a bit annoyed, I uh, should be in a little bag or something. Overall, the day was a great success, with all the students enjoying their day. Grammar ended up coming out with second overall, and St Patrick's College taking out first. There were some great athletes there. Up next is the Try Not To Laugh Challenge. What is the best Christmas present in the world? Not sure, buddy. A broken drum. You just can't beat it. I think you can, Wilbur. That's a ripper, anyway. What do you call a pony with a cough? A little horse? Come on! How do you befriend a squirrel? Just act like a bat. <laughs> yeah, got you, got it, yeah! Woo. That's one point to me. I just wrote a book on reverse psychology. Do not read it. Alright, let me, let me think. Still don't get it. Get it. Oh, oh my god. Come on, Wilbur. Yeah, no, that's funny. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Uh, I'm not sure, Will. Uh, because every play has a cast. That's sort of funny. I'm not going to laugh at that one. No? It's a little chuckle. <laughs> Who does a pharaoh talk to when he's sad? His mummy, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know this word. Can someone tell me how I say this word, please? Have you heard about the corduroy pillow? It's no. making headlines. I don't get it. Yeah, what's, a right. what's a corduroy? I, don't, I couldn't tell you. Why was the poor guy selling yeast? To make some dough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it! Woo! There were some interesting jokes. They definitely were. The next segment is from Macy about the school counsellor. I interviewed our school counsellor, Corinna, to show you her role in the school. My name's Corinna and I'm the school counsellor here at Grammar. And my role is to support students for whatever problem or worry they might have. Uh, I work in the school um, three days a week, but I work across both campuses. And I'm at the senior school on Mondays and Wednesdays. Students can come and see me for a variety of reasons, so if, if you've got any troubles or worries, the school counsellor is a really good place to start. Um, if you're feeling anxious or depressed, or you've got some changes in your circumstances, or you've been harassed or bullied at school, or a lot of other different issues that you might be experiencing, Mrs Beaumont sends out a notice and you'll get an appointment slip and you can come to your appointment here at the centre, which is right at the back of the health centre next to the big lemon tree. That everything that we talk about and everything you tell me is confidential, meaning it's just between you and me and I don't need to speak to anybody else about that. Not your parents, not your teachers, not to anybody if that's what you want. Um, there is a duty of care in that though, and if you do s s tell me something that I might think that um, you're unsafe or somebody else might be unsafe, then I would need to speak to somebody about that. But I would always tell you first and you would know who I'd speak to and what I'm actually going to do. So you can even email me directly and um, you can come and see me uh, without your teachers even having to be aware that there's some problems. If you've got concerns for a friend that might be in crisis, you can come and get some information about how you can be supportive. This has been Macy Shrivastava for Grammar TV. I didn't even know we had a school counsellor. Yeah, it's really important everyone knows she's there. Our last story will be from Tolly about badminton. Oh, we lost. <laughs> Which one's that? Harry. Harry's heroes. Harry's heroes. Oh, uh, they're 
there's a lot of good teams out there and uh, if we were favourites once, I don't know if we are now because uh, Mr. Lockie and, and Jess Johnson beat us uh, in the semi-final, which was uh, well played. And so they're going to be a hard one, but we're going to do our best to try and get one back on today. Right, thank you. Thanks. It's almost as if badminton as a sport connects people yeah. and brings out your full potential. Something to behold. Right, thank you guys. That just about wraps this up. <laughs> With the final round pitting Mr. Slavin and Harry Quee against Mr. Wockey and Jess Johnson, Harry Quee and Mr. Slavin won the competition in a close match. This has been Tom Swan from Grammar TV. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.